calling you. Billy Fever. I wonder what he's going to come out with this time. Quick, give me a drink. Why? What's happened? Oh, you'll never guess. I've just been run over by a 15-foot hit-and-run hedgehog. 15-foot <laughs> <laughs> hedgehog, eh? That must have been terrible. It was. Honestly, it was terrible. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Please. Yes, of course. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm? <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, proud of that. Have you finished, Jack? Yeah. You have me in your thrall. I am a constant, faithful man, though I only have one rose. <laughs> Salpote, you, you, of course, you've been here a while, have you? Good, yes, I. Mm. Nice to see. <laughs> Say nothing. <laughs> Haven't you grown? <laughs> Have I? <laughs> Come and see, Mr. Southport. I don't mind if I do. How about you, Gordon? Ah, uh, oh, yes, Tar, yes, I. A uh, bit nippy this morning. Was it? Yes, uh, the weather. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a nasty one. <laughs> I'll go and get the tea, and you and Gordon can have a little trip. <laughs> can we? Mm. It's quite harmless. Just don't, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, oh, I'll fall right into your mouth. Yes. Good eye. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> 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 in the greenhouse. <laughs> 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 oh, the milkman was late this morning. <laughs> 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 I put a note out for one pint. He left. Fine. Fancy, eh? Yes. Uh, it was always Thursday, uh, as I always say. Thursday, ah, oh, that's, uh, that's a good day, Thursday, eh? Just in time, dear. Huh? 
Ah, shall I? <laughs> Are you going to pour? Yes. Yeah. Good. <laughs> completely hypnotized. I want you to go back, go back 28 years. 28 years. Where's he gone? It was only 27. <laughs> hey, love, have you fixed that waste disposal unit yet? Well, give us a chance, will you? I've dropped my blooming torch. Oh. <laughs> Tutti frutti, tutti, tutti frutti, rooty tutti. That was something poetic and exquisite. I've got it. A wop bubble bubble bub, a lum bum bum. <laughs> and now the melody. Tutti frutti, oh rooty tutti frutti, wop bubble bubble bum bum. I'd know your little Richard anywhere. Don't get that. <laughs> Amanda. Elliot, it is you. Well, it was when I looked this morning. <laughs> Elliot, it's been. Been so long? No, it's been. Been an eternity? No, it's been. Been sprouts and sweet and sour dumplings? <laughs> I may as well come out with it. Not before dinner, my sweet. Why not? I don't like my sweet before dinner. <laughs> what I mean is, I'm here on my honeymoon. I've just got married to Freddie Fortescue. So have I. <laughs> not married, I mean. Oh, oh Elliot. I'm so frightened. Why? Everyone's talking about the wind. I'm terribly sorry. I'm a martyr to it. <laughs> Don't you remember I could enter your room before you could say, oh, God, he's done it again? <laughs> Here it comes again. I'll open the window. <laughs> no, no, I mean the wind. This building sways dreadfully in a high wind to some 20 degrees. That's the wind howling. Either that or the wolves at choir practice. Oh, I'm so frightened. Kiss me before you drive me to distraction. I'll get the car. Is it near there? <laughs> I was going to spud you like. They do the most divine yak in a jacket. <laughs> Mad queen, kiss me. <laughs> oh, did the hotel move for you? Why did I marry Freddy? Because he's filthy rich. He has his own monogrammed ice cubes. <laughs> I love you. Do you love your wife? Madly, sadly. I want to make love to her so badly. You always did, darling. <laughs> Elliot, a bed's just come in. That's strange. I only ordered a cheese sandwich. <laughs> Wonder they call this the Tilton Hilton. Oh, Lord, hold it. Hold me tight. Hold your tight what? Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 o
people at my age, the hotel does most of the work. Oh. <laughs> Can you imagine what it must be like in the snooker room? Their balls must be all over the place. <laughs> We always did, my dear. Well, Keep a stiff upper lip. Yeah. I'll make my own arrangements. Oh. Hold on to me, darling. There could be a structural failure. There will be if you hold on to me there. <laughs> but the building's leaning. Leaning? You've just given me an idea. Oh. I'm leaning in a penthouse overlooking Kathmandu in case a sudden little lady drops by. <laughs> Here she comes now. Oh, yes. <laughs> Who are those two? Oh, my God, it's my husband. My God, it's my wife. How could he do that behind my back? With great difficulty, I should imagine. Oh, <laughs> People of our class don't behave like this. They're well connected. Are they? I can't see from here. <laughs> uh, oh, well, my dear. That is fate. Sailor V, Sailor Gear, Sailor Jim. Sailor Jim? I help them out when they're busy. Oh. <laughs> oh, Elliot, do you realize what this means? Our love could last till the end of time. With 15 minutes each way and penalties. <laughs> Elliot, I used to look at your photograph with your divine hairs up your nostrils and that sweet little water on the end of your earlobe. And I used to think, someday I'll find you. You've just given me an idea. Hairs <clears throat> <laughs> up your nostrils, water, your ears. <laughs> yeah, it's all used different dialogue. I am. I'd like to take a seat at the doctor, will you right? Fine. <coughs> okay, speak with you. Fine. <coughs> now, how can I help you? I've got this terrible problem with blushing. Oh, tell me about it. Uh, well, I've uh, got a new secretary. She's very pretty. I, I'm a married man. Uh, but every time she walks into the office, I start to... Uh, <laughs> even talking about it makes me blush. <laughs> yes, well, I think I can help you there. Really? Well, what should I do? What I recommend is... Really? I'll do that. Thank you, Doctor. Not at all. Bye. Bye. Doctor, you look very happy. What did you tell him? Simple. I, um, I told him that... <laughs> well, it always worked for us. <laughs> And now, the star of his show, the man he's been waiting for, the one and lonely, Ronnie Ralph. He loves himself. Good to be here. Good evening. How are you, love? Great. Oh, it's hot in here. Is it me? <laughs> Just loosen up a little bit. Yeah. Is this the first time you've been spoken to by a big star? Is this your lovely wife? <laughs> and I'm one hell of a guy. I love myself. I think I'm great. It had to be. I think it's fate, I love myself, I'm mine, all oh mine, there's no one else, it's so divine. Something is right Oh, the moment I found me I'll never forget I was so lucky That I and me met One chilly evening I 
saw this stunning stranger across this crowd at tumble where Polly, the loveliest creature I ever did see. I realized my error. I was looking in the mirror. I recognized that gorgeous vision as nobody else but wonderful me. There's no one else, it's so divine. That was a tribute to the late Ronnie Revel, who died last week in Las Vegas when he hugged himself to death. <laughs> This man can remove your car radio in 60 seconds. <laughs> so why does it take this man more than seven hours to put it back? <laughs> Philip Marlowe. I'm head dick around here. You can find me in the phone book under dickhead. <laughs> Business was getting slack and so were my trousers. My head felt like an evening with Frank Carson. <laughs> Suddenly this dame swept into my office. I'm looking for Philip Marlowe. That's what it says on my wife front, sister. Take the weight off your feet. Thank you. Got four feet. Don't believe everything you hear, kid. <laughs> you like some gum? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Why do you keep it there? I'm a gumshoe. <laughs> I looked her up and down. Who said that? I did. Oh. It's called a voiceover, lovely, but it isn't for your ears. Too dirty, huh? Oh, they look okay to me. <laughs> this dame was getting to me. I could hear the sound of an accordion coming up from the street below. <laughs> Mr. Marlowe, it's my husband. He shot himself. I've had some close encounters myself. <laughs> no, he shot himself. <laughs> With a machine gun from across the street. Mm. Sounds like murder. What does? There's a corner. <laughs> She was really getting to me. The water on my knee started to boil, and my Veruca was doing the Lombarda. <laughs> I, I looked at it again. <clears throat> it must have gone. <clears throat> I looked at it again. <clears throat> my heart said yes, my head said no, and my trousers said we're just good friends. <laughs> Cigarette? I don't smoke. But I do. I love a man who does that. Yeah? Have one on me. Oh, thank you. Oh. You been to the cops? Yeah, I've been to the CIA, the FBI, and the MFI. MFI? No wonder this case is falling apart. <laughs> Fancy a slug? No, thanks. I've eaten. Coffee? Yeah, thanks. I like my coffee like I like my men. Not camp, I hope. <laughs> No, strong and instant. Uh, that's strong enough for you? <laughs> Thanks. That's great. Mr. Marlowe, this is my husband. Oh. 
What happened to his ear? Well, when I married him, they were both the same size, and then he developed this disgusting ear disorder. Then the left one grew. No, the right one shrank. <laughs> Mr. Marlowe, there's a shadow at the door. Don't worry, kid. A light in here sometimes plays strange tricks. <laughs> <laughs> You see what I mean? <laughs> Mr. Marlowe, the shadow, it's still there. You stay right there. Here. You take this. You may need it. Right. <laughs> You're right. It was a shadow. <laughs> Mr. Marlowe, when my husband was shot, a 1953 two-tone Chevy was seen driving away at high speed. Oh, yeah? Did you get the license plate? Yeah, sure. Here it is. <laughs> she had me called. It was my license plate. You had it coming, Marlowe. I had it going as well. It was one of my good days. Save that treacle for the waffle. I want to see you squirm. I want to hear you squeal. I want to see you crawl. And I want to see you swing. Sounds like you want Bonnie Langford, sister. <laughs> doesn't bother me. I got a bulletproof vest. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> it's hanging up in the cupboard. <laughs> we could have made beautiful music together, sister. Oh, yeah? Well, like what? And out, and in, and out, and in. Excuse me, would you? I see. Good deep breaths. Breathe in, in. Yes. Not on horse lips. Right. Yes. Good deep breaths. Breathe in, 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 in. in. One more deep breath in. And breathe out. I like your poise, your style, your grace, your gentle attitude. I'd love to see you when you bathe, when you are in the bathroom. <laughs> I never could stand those curtains. <laughs> That's all right, I didn't hear a thing. <laughs> I've been waiting here for ages. So have I. You know, I've lost the will to live. <laughs> I'd like to order a light meal. Oh, there you go, a 60 watts. <laughs> what? All right, 61, but who's counted? <laughs> 61. Oh, 61. look, darling. Oysters. Yes. It's supposed to be an aphrodisiac. Don't, just don't believe everything you hear. No, I had 12 last night and two of them didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> what about fish? Oh, why not? <laughs> Have you got soul? Have I got soul? I heard it through the grapevine. <laughs> <laughs> baby, baby, Matt. What do you recommend? Oh, Ray Charles, Louis Armstrong. <laughs> I mean, what do you recommend to eat? Oh, well, how about this? This is a lovely dish. You'll like this. You'll enjoy that. Look at that. That is fish surprise. I'm <laughs> <laughs> surprised you didn't egg boots. <laughs> oh, sorry about the lettuce. <laughs> yeah, I'll have that. Great, <laughs> right. That's a spring onion. <laughs> a spring onion, look at that. Eh? Any time I'm ready, Zebedee. <laughs> Could you clear the table? Not on these trousers, I couldn't as a hand. <laughs> Waiter! Yeah. What's the toad in the hole like? What he usually likes, big flies. <laughs> <laughs> she, 
He's got his tongue that comes out like that. <laughs> or is it like that? <laughs> Do you know, he can kiss his wife from across the room. I thought it was sausage. No, it's definitely his wife. <laughs> Spotted dick. I haven't seen him this week, no. <laughs> Week, but I mean, has the chef got spotted dick? What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't like to pry. <laughs> Excuse me. Are you again, is it? <laughs> what oil do you use for frying? Vegetable oil? No, no, a three in one. <laughs> Will it help me to reduce weight? No, but it'll stop me squeaking. <laughs> <laughs> do the uh, frog legs come with any dressing? They do, they come in these nice little cavalry twill trousers. Yeah. <laughs> with a matching jacket potato. <laughs> <laughs> jacket potato. <laughs> oh. uh, there you go. What's that? Chocolate Sunday. There's nothing there. Well, it's only Wednesday, isn't it? <laughs> have you got rum barbers? I have, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I blame the cold weather. I do, really. <laughs> yeah. That's puff pastry. <laughs> yeah, what's this? What's that? Look at that. Hey, what's that? Hey. What? That's Mickey Mouse looking for his other ear. <laughs> <laughs> I dropped the clanger then, didn't I? <laughs> there we go. Look at that. A herrigade. <laughs> <laughs> Lemonade. <laughs> I'm on food tonight, aren't I? Waiter, yeah. scotch egg, and let's have some service. Wait a minute, sir. Here we come, service. <laughs> come on, let's go to McDonald's and get a cheeseburger. Right. I'll tell you what, if you've got a Trevor McDonald's, you get the news as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's better. Who right, then? Thank you very much. Oh, all right, then. Oh, I'll get a bit of service now. <laughs> Waiter! <laughs> More of the zany antics of Russ Abbott can be seen all next week on stage at the Empire Theatre Sunderland.